What's going on guys, Joe here back with another video and today we'll be taking a look at some of the top iOS 8.3 compatible jailbreak tweaks. Now of course you will have to be jailbroken in order to run any of these tweaks or apps or anything of that sort. So if you haven't jailbroken yet, I mean if you want to, I'll leave a link down below to a tutorial that I did a couple videos ago or you can go ahead and click on your screen right now or if you're on a mobile device, go ahead and tap on the top right of your screen and that video will show you how to easily jailbreak your iOS device. So the first one that I want to start off with is called Swipe Selection. So with Swipe Selection, it's actually something that is now on iOS 9, which Apple more than likely borrowed from this jailbreak tweak. So Swipe Selection allows you to simply swipe by sliding on the keyboard here. So you can swipe left or right, and uh, you'll simply have that little cursor moving left or right. So that way it'll give you an easier way to edit your text instead of having to press and hold and then have that little magnifying uh, glass here and then move the cursor. It's easier to just simply slide on your keyboard here. Now, if you also wanna go ahead and highlight some text, you can do so by pressing uh, the little shift key right there and then sliding left or right as you see there. So it's very easy to edit text with swipe selection. Now the next tweak is called cylinder. So with cylinder, this is actually a tweak that allows you to have different animations when swiping left or right on your different pages. So if you go into the settings, you can actually change the effects of a cylinder here. So you have a variety of effects. You can even make your own by say for example, you like this effect here, you like this one here, and you'll notice that there's a number on the right. Uh, that means it will basically combine all of those and then make some weird little effect here. So you can basically customize it, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, and that is cylinder there, but I'm gonna go ahead and clear that out and uh, just use one I really like. Here's, here's a little example of what they look like here. So this one shrinks the icons. Um, and there's also, there's a variety of them here. So you can choose any of these and, uh, and yeah, that's basically cylinder. It gives you different little effects or different little animations uh, when you're swiping left or right on your uh, springboard. Now this next tweak is called type status. This is probably my, one of my favorites. And it basically gives you a little status of who's texting you at the moment. So with type status, you will notice that at the top of my status bar, it says typing and whoever is typing. So if the other person has iMessage, uh, normally you would see this little uh, icon here, or this little indicator showing you that they're typing. But now with type status, you actually get a notification up top, which is really handy. You can change the settings as well in your settings app and go to type status. And then you can change the way uh, little settings here of when they're typing. So on the status bar, you can actually have that overlaid, which is what I have at the moment. You can even change it to status bar icon. So instead of having it uh, fully say typing and then their name or whatnot, you can just simply have a uh, icon and it will show up up there, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, type status. Uh, you can also see if they read the message, uh, if they have read receipts on, and that's pretty much it. There's some settings there, and that's type status. It lets you see who is actually typing. So if you're using other applications, then you can still see if they're typing back. Now this next tweak is called tiny bar, and simply what it is, is you have a little tiny bar up top. So on your status bar, uh, instead of having a large notification here, or a large notification banner, you have now a little tiny bar. So the status bar gets replaced with a notification. It makes it look a lot cleaner and things. You can go ahead and change some settings as well for tiny bar in the settings application. Uh, so as you see here, you can change things like showing the icon or don't show the title. You can even change the font of the title or message and things like that. So. Yeah, and that, that's basically Tiny Bar. It uh, simplifies the notification for you. And this next tweak is called No Slow Animation. So you probably noticed throughout the video so far that my animations seem to be a lot quicker than what you would normally see on your iOS device. So, and that is all thanks to No Slow Animations. It basically speeds up your device here because basically what it does, it speeds up those animations that Apple puts on iOS. So it speeds up your device and yeah, I really dig it. It works very well. So if you have a slower device, maybe this will help your device seem a little snappier and faster. 
So check it out, it's called No Slow Animations. Next up is called Alkaline. So Alkaline is a little battery indicator up there on the top right. So with Alkaline, it gives you a new little battery icon and in the settings, you can actually change the theme, which is gonna be, as you see here, here's Bolas uh, Habisha, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and Spots, and Spots is the one I currently have. Uh, but yeah, you can change different ones here. And uh, once you do that, once you select a new uh, little theme, it will reboot for you or respring. And now you'll notice that we have a new little battery icon Next we have slide to kill eight light and this is something that I wish Apple went ahead and put this on stock iOS and that is to kill all the applications. So as you see there I just swiped on the home screen whenever I enabled the multitask switcher and uh, my all my apps removed or they closed without having me to go ahead and individually swipe each one out and close it out. Uh, I can simply swipe down and then it'll close out all the applications and that's pretty much all slide to kill 8 does now there's gonna be a light version there is a pro version that's a paid version and that'll give you things like an icon so you can simply uh, tap on an icon and then it'll remove that but if you just want something free and does the job then just go ahead and pick up slide to kill 8 light Next up is Pandora Skip. So if you are a Pandora listener, if you love listening to music, uh, then Pandora Skips is definitely a tweak to get. Now for Pandora users, you probably are aware that you have a limited amount of skips uh, throughout the hour or throughout the day or whatnot. Um, but with Pandora Skips, it actually bypasses that and gives you a limited amount of skips, which is awesome. Next up, I want to talk about Zeppelin. So you may have noticed throughout this whole video that I have AT&T up here, but if you noticed, this is actually an iPod Touch. So this is all thanks to Zeppelin, which is a jailbreak tweak that allows you to change your carrier logo. You go into the settings app, go into Zeppelin, and go ahead and enable this. And right now I have it set to none, but you can now change it to different little icons here, which is really cool. So for example, an Apple, Android, uh, you have a variety of different icons here like Batman, Nike sign, uh, Iron Man. So as you see there, lots of cool little uh, themes you can change it to, a lot of lo logos and uh, whichever one you want, go ahead and select that. But if you want carrier text, you can do that as well. First you'll have to disable Zeppelin and then go into carrier text and then type in your carrier text there, hit save, and then you'll have that carrier text on the top left. It's really cool. It's something that I've used for a very long time. It's a very old tweak, but it's still a very cool one at that. So that is Zeppelin. Now the next tweak I want to talk about is called Apex 2. Now this is a very cool tweak and it lets you kind of organize your icons. I see here I can swipe down on an icon and you'll notice that I have my podcast app, for example, hidden behind my music application. And over here, if I go into my contacts and I swipe down on it, I have other applications that are hidden behind that as well. And that's what Apex does. It allows you to uh, add different icons or add different applications behind other applications. So instead of using folders, uh, you can use something like this and then have quick access uh, to those applications by a simple swipe. So when you tap on the plus button here, you'll be able to add any other application that you have installed on your device, of course, and you can add up to four of them. So it's a very cool little tweak. Now in the settings app, there are a couple things you can change. For example, the visual indicator, uh, the sub app access. So if you wanna swipe up, down, or just double tap, you can change that setting. And also you have the spotlight access. So the way you want to access spotlight, you can either tap on the status bar to bring down spotlight or swipe down like you normally do. But, uh, but pretty much that is uh, Apex 2. It's a way to kind of simplify the way you organize your icons on your home screen. But anyways guys, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video. If you do wanna see more jailbreak tweak videos like this, go ahead and leave me a like down below on this video and leave a comment as well and let me know what you'd like to see in an upcoming jailbreak video. Would you like to see the top free tweaks or top paid? or a mixture of both, or what do you wanna see? As, as far as jailbreak tweaks, let me know in the comment section below. There are plenty more jailbreak tweaks that are now compatible with iOS 8.3, which is great. So if you do wanna see coverage on that in a future video, uh, simply hit that like button. But also, if you did enjoy this video, 
feel free to hit that like button as it normally supports the channel, but it lets me know that you like the video. And if you're not yet following me on social media, like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Google+, all of my links are down below in the description. That way you can go ahead and stay up to date with what's going on. And you can also communicate with me on social media. I'm really active on Twitter and Instagram. Go ahead and follow me on those. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate the support very much. And uh, let me know if y'all want to see more Jetbreak videos. Other than that, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.